went from condos to pops house on calls now bus routes and the one person who had the key to my heart took it and checked out. Nah, man let's get it to and hey, you know what thing you know I, I, I wanted to mention too uh you know you one of the creators like uh like me man you know always got on the shades you know yeah. People mention that sometimes, like, why you never take off the shades? You know, what's your, I, what's your reasoning for wearing the shades? And I, I want to let the people know the reasoning behind, but what's your reasoning for wearing the shades? To be honest? Yeah. They just look dope. <laughs> uh, I'm being honest. Like, they just, it just something about them that look dope. Yeah, Like, yeah, before, yeah. I never, I never wore sunglasses. Yeah, yeah. And then one day, I was like, I'm going to buy some. Just yeah. to, you know, just to, to wear them. And I only bought them, really, to wear on um, YouTube. Okay. And I just started loving them. I these pair I have not really taken off like that. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Okay. Sometimes okay. I take them off when I do my YouTube because I because people be like, why you got the glasses on or something? Yeah. I'm not hiding them. The first thing when I first start wearing these, they was like, you got a black eye or something because you don't take them <laughs> off. So I had to start like like being funny and taking them off in the video and shit. But yeah, nah, I, I don't know. They just they look dope yeah, just yeah, wearer. yeah. I don't know yeah. Be honest, yeah yeah nah that's a fact I mean the look that's for one you know what I'm saying when it comes I've always been like even before like you know social media and YouTube and everything like that I've always been into the glasses for one reason I love glasses another reason though is because I work 24 7 you know what I'm saying so I always got to put on clear eye because I always look sleepy and shit Cause I work all the time. Now I don't. I don't drink or smoke weed, you know, and everything like that. Might you know? need to. You know. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hey, I feel you on that. You know, but I'm always on the go. I'm always moving. I probably be moving, a, you know, a little bit more laid back if I did. But because my my energy be up, cause I don't really do anything. You know what I'm saying? I be up just grinding. You know, so. I be wearing the shades because I'm like, you know, hey, you know, yeah, no, nah. nigga be looking sleepy out here. You feel me? Yeah, like I, ain't, I can't even lie. I got them just because of the look. But after I started having them, you feel me? You now I'm starting to see like, damn, I'm getting bags under my eyes. What the fuck going on? Yeah, but yeah. that people don't understand. They be like, milk, you need to get some sleep. You look like something wrong with you. No, it ain't nothing wrong with me. I'm hustling. Yeah, I sleep when I'm dead. Uh -huh. When I'm uh -huh. whatever happened after, I'm no longer on this earth. That's when I sleep. But until then, I, I I'm up. Saying. I'm like, why go to sleep at nine now when I could be up two more hours editing this shit so to be ready for tomorrow and have every. I like. I don't go to sleep until I feel accomplished. Mm. Fuck sleep. Yeah, yeah. And then yeah. you know another thing with the when it kind of me with sleep. I used to love sleep, but then when my mama died and that sleep shit, that kind of like it kind of scared me for a minute mm. about me going to sleep. I'm like, yeah, damn, yeah. like I might go to sleep or not. Uh, wake up. Wake but up. I had to get over that shit. Yeah, if you yeah. think like that, boy, you were like for like a week. Be a zombie out a here, week bro. of my life, I really was panicking about like, damn, what, what if they, what if they send rockets over here? Mm. We gonna be fucked. Mm. Yeah. yeah, I live man. in an area that's getting hit first. Yeah. It was gonna be one of the first hit, and nobody got nothing to survive but out here. Man. Yeah, it's gonna be bad for oh. a week. I was watching videos on <laughs> just all this. How to survive this shit to do in the first 72 hours. Yeah, just wow. Like that. wow. But the sleep part. So, you know, I do notice, like, I do be looking sleepy. But mm -hmm. I want people to see that shit. Because you got it. You're not going to get nowhere. want to look cute and nah. all that shit. You're going to have to get tired. I mean, I've, I don't know, bro. It's just like. Yeah, shit. I you know, sleep when I'm dead. You know, one time Steve Harvey said something, man, that, um, you know, I was like, you know what? He right. He said, um, if you get more than like four to six hours of sleep a day, you're not successful. You know? Now he was he was saying like I ain't saying that is 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 always the healthiest thing to do. So you know what I'm saying? Only be sleeping four to six hours. But if you're sleeping more than that a day, you're not successful. You know, uh, of course, like as you get older, if you built yourself up to a place to where now you got money being made, whether you're doing something or not. Fine, you sleep how much you want. But when you in the mix of things, you trying to grind and build up, how can you really get to that place sleeping, you know, more than, you know, four to six hours a day? If you be if you keep it real, right? You know what I'm saying? If you keep it real, if you keep it one hundred, if you really sleeping eight hours out here, how are you gonna be a multimillionaire if you out there grinding to try to make that happen? You gotta be on the grind. You know what I'm saying? You gotta put those hours in. You gotta put hours in when people are sleeping. You know, I always say I get the most work done when most in the world, when most of the world is asleep. Yeah. Most of the world is asleep, I get the most done. Yeah. 
still getting it. In fact, I feel like I'm gaining ground on my competition. You know what I'm saying? You know, two in the morning, I be grinding like, yeah, niggas sleep right now. Yeah, yeah, I be I'm catching, getting, I be catching myself. Too. You know, Sometime I be like, I'm, I'm a tweaker or something. <laughs> 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 Fuck if I do it up, like, but I be like, shit, I'm getting it. I gotta do this. I gotta do that because I gotta keep a schedule going. I don't yeah. have even when I worked regular job, I couldn't sleep eight hours like that. Yeah, I yeah. gotta get up. I gotta catch the bus to work. So if I get off at if 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 I'm done with the job at one in the morning, then I gotta catch the bus home. I ain't at home like four in the morning. And mm. I gotta get right back up and probably do the shit right over again. So yeah, I, yeah. I've been doing that shit. So I can't. It ain't nothing, but yeah, yeah, people that sleep all day ain't gonna have shit. Yeah, facts, facts, man. You know what I'm saying? I see and, it all day. And we, yeah, we just speaking facts. Have nothing to do with you know talking about anyone or anything like that. Hey, if you sleeping eight, ten, tw- twelve hours a day, man, you ain't gonna get to where you're trying to go. Straight up. Especially a man. If yeah. You're a grown ass man, Especially you a man. Ass. Real talk. That's yeah. a fact. That's a fact, you know. So you know, uh uh Milk now, you know, get it into everything. You know, uh um you know, the last interview that we had, one of the parts that I noticed a lot of people was commenting on the most is um when you was talking about like your belief in, in God and going to church and everything like that. You know, uh, <laughs> why why do you think that um people were so captivated? You know, by that topic, you know, and everything like that, you know, with you talking about, you know, being a believer, you know, and, and believing in God and your story about your mother and everything like that. You know, um, what what are your thoughts on uh, on people being so captivated when it came down to that particular topic, you know, and everything like that? I, it's, um, I really could. I, I don't really talk about shit like that on the Internet. That's, I've that's never true. really did videos it's just certain shit i have never really even got i see that's what i said i might gotta slow down on this shit a little bit and make it only like three or four days off the week because it's a lot of shit i don't be talking about so yeah they probably think i'm a demon i probably think it's like <laughs> wow. you know yeah and for real they probably think i'm like a, a demon or something you feel me even because i came from the streets never been a demon i grew up in a home my mother was religious down to the T, she was religious. Don't sweep me with the broom, or she gonna spit on it. I mean, just religious, like, you feel me? She used to talk about seeing demons, all type of shit. She was really a God-fearing woman, but I don't know, bro, I believe in God, like I, I do. Yeah, I yeah. believe in all that shit. Yeah, that's what I think it was. Sometimes, you know. Sometimes I question shit, yeah. but I'm human. So, yeah, yeah. You know? And that's one of the things I noticed too, man. Um. You know, a lot of times I sit at this table with, you know, uh, individuals who come from, you know, backgrounds to where, you know, um, you know, serve time, you know, gang members, you know, uh, uh, you know, have have a, sh- a history of being on the streets and everything like that. You know, so when I bring individuals to this table and we have certain conversations and everything like that, people are more captivated when we talk about certain things that have to do with you know, God and the faith and everything like that, because they don't expect that from that individual. No. You know, they, for one, you never really hear them talk about it, you know, and everything like that, you know. And for two, people are like, oh, I want to see where this go. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But, but I mean, it, it shows, though, man, that people are, are interested, you know, in, in, in knowing, you know, hey, do you believe in God? Yeah, I believe you know? in God. Hell yeah. And everything like that. That's what it shows to me. People are really, people don't talk about it a lot because you already know religion and politics. Those are the two things that typically is going to cause, uh, you know, arguments yeah. and debates and everything like that. You know, so when you have those type of conversations, people are like tuned in like, oh, I want to hear what he's going to say about this. You feel me? Yeah. yeah I mean, yeah. I, grew, I grew up in a, um, a, a religious household to a certain degree. Yeah. I can't say that we was at church every, every Sunday. But, you know, it was there. My mama kept the Bible reading and shit, uh, watching the new church on the TV, like all everything like that, bro. So, I mean, I grew up like that. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think about that shit, you know, like, even, that's what I'm saying. Even when I was in the streets, I kept, I, I always still like, damn, you know, I can't do this because, you know, it's wrong. Or I can't just do this, like, because yeah. that shit, gonna, I'm going to go to hell, like. You then, be thinking about those things? Yeah, hell yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. okay. I mean, I got to understand most of the people that came, most of the gangbangers was in church. They was in the choir. They Grandmas raised them, or the mamas them was in church. A lot of people, like most of the gangbangers, 
when they was children growing up, they was in some type of uh, church. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a fact. She's That's crazy. a fact. I always say, you know what I'm saying? When you come from the hood, you 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 went to church. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Some church, something. You know? Even if you ain't go every day, you went on Easter. Yeah. Uh Christmas whatever, you went to church, bro. It's yeah, just yeah. it's different now though. Like shit changed, but Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's definitely different. You know, back then, you know, you had grandma waking you up. Hey, you know, hey. I'm bringing the grandkids to church, or you know, you was in church with grandma, or whatever. Things are a lot different now, you know. Uh, you used to go to granny house every weekend, and yeah. all your cousins over there, and people playing. Nobody even do that no more. Yep, yep. That's a fact. That's a fact, man. All that changed, man. You know, we in a different place right now, milk. You know, so you know everything revolves around social media. You know, uh, back in those days, you know, you had to kind of like go places to interact. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. People are strapped to their computers nowadays. So people ain't going to visit uncles, aunties, and, and cousins and stuff like that anymore. They they saying what's up on Facebook. You know what I'm saying? Or, or liking a picture on Instagram. You know? Or yeah. commenting on, on something that they posted. You know, that that's where the interaction is at now. So we just in a different place, man. So I had to show them that I wasn't made.